the best photo and video editing apps video guru pro this is a 2020 tutorial there is a free version of this app but I am showing you the pro paid for version join me today as we break down some of the steps and processes to create a video using this mobile app benefits of this app include no watermark no ads and pretty easy operability. Let's hop in and start a new project. This app will access all the video and photos on your device. You can create your own content or download stuff from the internet. Let's pick two videos and import them into our project. I selected Elon Musk and a little dancing guy gift that I downloaded. You can play your content to see the order in which it will progress and you can pause it at any time. You also have the option to rewind. The red line indicates where you are in the video. To add new photos or videos, hit the plus button to the left. Each file you import is its own individual entity, which can be selected by tapping on it below. These videos and photos can be cropped, trimmed, edited. A variety of formats are available, from Instagram to YouTube, TikTok, standard 3x4, 4x3, 2x3, 3x2. The trim tool is a very powerful tool. You can edit your file, trim the video, cut it, or split it. Cut will remove an element. Split will divide that file into two separate elements. And trim will just shorten your video from 30 seconds to 20 seconds. I just cut the video, and we took Joe Rogan out of it. Let's play it back real quick. See that? Wasn't too bad but you can refine your editing skills. Imported files can also be copied. Let's copy the dancing man. Just as easy as you can add and copy files, you can also delete them. Another tool when you select your file is changing the speed. You can slow down the video, make it longer, or you can speed the video up and make it shorter. This might provide a certain effect you're looking for in your video. I think I like the slowed version for Elon. Better chill on that joint. Step 2. Saving a draft. The last project we were working on, we didn't show you how to save it properly. Let's open it up. We had Elon Musk there. And if you look in the top left corner, there's an arrow. Let's click it. Here we are provided with two options, draft and discard. Draft takes us back to the main menu and saves our project. Hitting new project will get rid of your old project, though. As you can see, I just started a new project. This one shows a time lapse of my neighborhood. A little bit of the weather. Nothing more exciting than that. In this next segment, we are going to show you how to add stickers and text to your video to make them a little bit more dynamic. Let's hop in and start a new project. For this one, I'm going to select a couple photos. Given the recent holiday of 420, why not uh, select this picture of cannabis? But Ken, cannabis is a hot topic issue. All the more reason to slap a censored sticker right on there. These stickers are uh, pretty fun to use. You can download your own, trim out uh, an image, and uh, slap them right onto your video. 
You can change how long they appear in your video. And you can also adjust the size and orientation. Right now I'm about to adjust the length of how long Bruce Lee and this sticker will appear in the video. We can also click our image and adjust the duration. This will allow this image to last longer in our video. We just adjusted it from 4 seconds to 30 seconds and you can see that along the bottom. We can also flip the orientation of the background image by clicking this button here. Stickers also have an opacity setting where you can fade in and out from the image. The next process I want to explore with you is the text feature. Start by selecting the button and typing in an example of what you would like to say. Marijuana. Is it bad? You can adjust the size. There's a variety of fonts, as well as additional fonts that you can go to by selecting the plus just to the right. With the paid version, all these fonts are free. Let's try champagne and limousines and use this. A variety of other languages may be available to you. I tried one and it didn't work in this uh, clip, but perhaps I'm missing something. Leave a message in the comments if you know. Perhaps I just need to type in a different keyboard. Let's select another font to load. Chunk 5. We'll play around with this one. You can change the color of the text. You can add a background border called a label, which will block out a portion of the image. You can give the text itself a border. This will outline the text itself, and you can adjust the thickness. And you can also apply a shadow, which will be behind the text and border. That'll kind of give a 3D effect to your text and font. Again, you have the ability to rotate, scale, manipulate your font and you can adjust the duration at the bottom. By playing your video, you can get a preview of what it will be like. Be sure to crop your video before adding text or stickers. Step four, adding sound, effects, and music. We're going to open up a new project in this one. We're going to select a video. We'll go back to our good friend, the dancing man. He looks like he's having a good time. Look at that smile. Now, if we open the music tab, we can give this guy some party music. I don't think that's his style. Let's try something else. I think we found it.
I know you could keep watching this, but let's add some effects and make this video a little bit more interesting. There's four categories of effects, glitch, beat, magic, and mirror. To use these effects, simply tap and hold for however long you intend to use that effect. You can switch back and forth between as many as you like. They've got a great selection. It will take you some time, but really give them all a try. Again, the pro versions are unlocked when you purchase, and the free ones have no symbol next to them in the top right corner. If you need to overwrite an effect, simply go right back over, complete the same process, tap and hold, and it'll overwrite the previous effect. The same thing can be done for simply erasing an effect. Go in front, tap and hold the erase button, and that'll wipe out the effect that you had set and give you your plain video again. I know, you really wanted a little bit more dance party. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to filter the image or video that you placed. These filters are pretty basic. They'll give you a basic wash or a monochrome feel to your video, but they're nothing uh, too extravagant. Again, a lot of options, and you can adjust and play with these as you so desire. Step five, combine all steps and add your creative style. This video is gonna start to freak you out now. I'm gonna open up a new project. And we're gonna select the four videos that I used to create this video. And we're literally gonna show you the start of me editing this video now. So it's like video inception. You guys, I'm starting to really freak out, man. Oh, this is getting deep. Depending on your level of organization and coordination, you may want to start writing some things down, keeping your files organized. This will ensure a smoother process. Again, every photo and video you import is its own individual entity, and these can all be moved around. Right now I am staggering the title screens in between each of the videos. Images make great title screens because you can, again, adjust the duration and add text to them. They make nice little dividers. The last thing you may need to do is provide some recordings. Like myself, I had to record and dictate all the way through this video. After you cleared your voice, did your me 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 me's, Hit the record button and start saying your spiel. It'll last as long as you let it. And when you're done, tap that button again. And you can play it back. Hello and welcome to the Video Guru app. This is the pro version. And this is a tutorial. Thank you for watching today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any comments or you would like me to go further in depth, on some of the tools and tricks or how I might go about doing something leave a comment below and I'll try to address it thank you as always please like and hit that subscribe button come back again